Yeah. Okay, screws on the middle roof. The very common place to leak is screws, and especially if the roof is like 10, 20 years old. Let's see, let me try to show you why it's leaking. One of them is when it's loose. So just tightening it up would help. Let's see if this tightens up. You see how it tightened up? That's it. Half a turn and it tightened up. Look at this one. Look. It's a little bit tighter. You cannot use an impact drill. You have to use a screw gun with a uh, ratchet like this. Slightly. See that? It tightened up. You see that? Look. Oh, that one's completely loose. This is a good example. Let's look at this one. Look, nothing holding it. See that? So now I found two problems here. You have to remove these screws because they will cause leaks. They, they're not holding. Okay, that's one. You can see it was not holding at all. Barely. So remove these screws and you can see somebody tried to repair that. I'm going to remove the screws. Okay, there's a big one. All right, let's see what we can do now. I'm going to remove this. I see that? That was a huge screw in there. Now, I don't have that the best. The best is to replace it. All right, now. Yeah, I have screws, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's see. Nothing, nothing. So I'm gonna use that screw again. You can see it's much thicker. Come closer. See? You can see it's much thicker. See there? That's the one that was originally in there, but there's no washer on that. There's the washer. So I'm gonna use that again and see if I can make it work. Okay, here we go. All right, clean it. Nice. And the other screws, I put bigger screw also in it. Look. Tighten it up. Look. Nice. All right. So these were loose. And um, beautiful. Now I want to show you something. Look, there's a crack on this washer. All right. So when the washer's in there and it's slightly cracked, the water would just seep through that crack into the hole. You have to replace it. All right. You can see that there. All right. So I replaced it. Now, if a screw is at the angle, it's also a bad thing. Let's see how this one is. Look at this one. Look, let me tighten it. Uh -uh. See that? That's different size screws. So I'm gonna see if I can tighten it up a little bit. A little bit. See that? I did. I just don't wanna make the ratchet. That's nice. Tighten them a little bit like that, and you'll be good. Yeah, tighten it. And that's it. Now, let's assume I didn't get this very nice, this old screw. All right, let's assume I don't undo all the screws and I have a different method another method how to seal them and this is how you do it I use turbo poly seal and very simple very simple I just dab a little bit of turbo poly seal around the screw like that and around that anywhere I can just like that and look you're good everywhere where I find screws I dab this after I fixed it and I know I'm sh absolutely sure it's not gonna leak. Those are the screws. Some are loose and some are not, and some the washer's broken, but that's a maintenance thing. Let me show you what it looks like 
the screws that we've covered like two or three weeks ago. Let me come and show you. Look what it looks like. Very, very, very nice. Flexible around it and the water cannot get around that washer everywhere. You see this? Look at this. Beautiful. It keeps the water away from the screw everywhere. That's what we did a few weeks ago. Look how beautiful it looks. Cannot leak. No more leaks around the screw. Turbo Poly Seal and you can do all the screws on your roof with Turbo Poly Adapt, Turbo Poly Seal and you, you should be okay. Alright, see you on the next video.